that was brought to America by uh, John D. Shapiro, who was uh, creating a new idea of an uh, international race between horses of all the parts of the world. So he was always in Europe to promote his race, and he needed an artist to, to promote posters and whatnot. He offered me to come to, to visit America, to visit his uh, racetrack, Laurel Park, and to do some, some work. Shapiro arranged for a luncheon in Baltimore, and uh, Sam Perlman, who was a Mr. Racing, I guess, <laughs> the, the, the people, came to the luncheon, and Shapiro was trying to tell him that you need a cartoonist in your paper, the Morning Telegraph. Sam Perlman was ke keeping telling him, no, I don't need it. We never had any. And uh, Shapiro was so bugging him all the time, you know, during that lunch, he said, okay, Tell him that he can do one sketch a week and send it to me and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so one sketch a week. The major, my, uh, my translator from Belgium, he said, you know, you should go to New York and get there close to the, the paper and then you can show them what you can do. But it was, it was a very good advice. Sam Perlman, in very good mood, he said, oh, hey, so how, how do you like to be in America? I said, fine. Uh, would you like to stay with, with us now? Uh, well, I'm not making enough money because I have a wife and children that I want to bring from France to, to this country. And, you know, one, one sketch a week, uh, it's not, it's not too, too much. He said, let me show you something. He opened a drawer and he get a big pile of letters that he received from the readers. And all those letters was about my sketches that they like, they love it. They say, oh, this is new, this is refreshing, and you should keep it. And uh, he said, well, how much did you make in Baltimore? I, said, I told him, he said, I'm giving you the same thing. So I was happy. I called my family in, in France, and uh, we went to pick up the children and everything else. This work is really, to me, the most stimulating work that I can do. It is, uh, enormously satisfying for, for, for me as an artist. It brings everything that I really wanted to do. I am a painter at heart. I, you know, I'm, I, I feel like uh, I've always been a painter, but I also am a caricaturist. And I linked the, the two things together into doing that, those things. The research of going back to the history, it's part of uh, uh, very uh, exciting endeavor to me. Not only to doing the, the, the mural, but to research and to recreate the past, which is most of it completely forgotten, except in a few books. But uh, to take a picture, a, a fuzzy picture of a trainer that won the derby in 1883, where nobody even looked at it, to, to get the image and to to bring it to life. And this is, to me, very, very rewarding, you know, and I love to do it. I want to be able to continue doing my part in, into, into this, uh, this world of sport, of racing, and that's my wish, that uh, people can enjoy what I'm doing now for a long, long time.